Okay, I'm going to do a demonstration of a matched or paired samples test using Minitab. And uh, this test is sometimes called paired samples, related samples, matched samples. All right, so you'll see it referred to differently in different textbooks. And uh, in paired samples, the, the samples we choose are related in some way. And this is going to require that both samples be the same size. All right, so for example, you might measure something before and after in the same, say, person, or you might measure the same data points at different times or different locations. And actually, that's what I'm going to do in this example. Uh, we're going to be measuring the cost of medical tests at different hospitals. All right, so we're going to measure the same test at a different hospital. And so we can reasonably expect that they should be uh, price the same, all right, and that's going to be our null hypothesis, all right. The alternative is going to be that there is some kind of measurable difference, and it's significant, all right. Since we have no reason to believe that hospital A, hospital B, uh, one is bigger than the other, we're going to be using a two-tailed test, all right. For paired samples, uh, we're measuring the mean difference across the samples, and the hypothesis are written a little differently than when you're doing an independent samples test, all right? So we combine both terms into this uh, mean difference, all right? And so our alternative is uh, that there is no difference, and then, uh, uh, sorry, the null is that there is no difference. The alternative is that there is a real difference, all right? And we'll be able to try to quantify that as well. All right, in general, this is going to mean that we're going to reject the null when we have large positive or negative mean differences. All right, so we'll go ahead and jump into Minitab. All right, so here's the data that I'm going to be using. And uh, I haven't really, it's made up data. All right, so I'm just calling the tests A, B, C uh, through G there. And then I'm measuring a cost at Hospital A here, Podunk, and Hospital B here, uh, East Jibangawang. All right, and we want to see if there is a, a difference that is measurable. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to go to the stat menu and basic statistics. All right, and then I'll select paired T. Okay, and there's a couple of ways we can do this. We're going to actually use the default here. Each sample's in a column, uh, but you can also uh, do it from summary data. Okay. All right, and then. I'm going to click in the sample one box, and uh, it, it's not really going to matter too much, uh, but I have gone ahead and calculated ahead of time which one is the bigger mean, and uh, I'm going to select that as sample one. And this is going to give us a positive test statistic, which for most people is just a little bit easier uh, to interpret. Okay, so I'll click on Podunk, send that over as sample two. Okay, I'm going to click on Options. And I'm going to leave these as the default, but we're going to end up uh, getting a confidence interval. All right, we're going to test uh, that the difference at the null is zero. All right, if we want to test for some other difference, we could type that in here. Okay, and then uh, we're going to also leave this as the default since we're doing a two-tailed test. But if you're doing a one-tailed test, uh, you're going to want to uh, modify this, uh, this parameter. Click OK there. I'm going to click on graphs. And uh, these are pretty small samples, so uh, I'm going to just, I don't think the histogram will be too meaningful, but I will get at least one of these plots. Um, probably the box plot is the most useful. All right, and then with that done, we're ready to do our test. So I'll click OK. And there's our box plot. And it, it's nice because it gives you a visual representation of what's going on. Here is uh, the mean of zero, right, right out here, they give you kind of a red X marks the spot here. And then here is the X bar, the mean difference from the samples. All right. And it also shows you uh, how wide the confidence interval is here. All right. So just from a high level view, we can quickly see that, oh, there is a big difference between uh, between these two hospitals and it's not zero. All right. If it was zero, or, or we could not uh, reject the possibility that it's zero, uh, this point would be somewhere in the confidence interval. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to just look at the data output here. Uh, we do get a confidence interval here, and so we're saying that the difference is somewhere between uh, 3350 and 12650, and with uh, the higher value being at East Jibangway. Okay, and then down here, here's our t-test, and we get a high t. It doesn't tell us what the critical value of t is, but we can probably guess it's somewhere around two. All right, certainly less than three. All right, so uh, using the t-test method or the t-value from our, uh, our calculated statistic, we can reject. All right, it's a lot easier to interpret the p-value. All right, and uh, we're basically uh, having a p below our alpha. All right, well below our alpha, and uh, that means we can reject the null that the the difference is zero. All right, so it's greater than zero. All right, this also happens to be the lowest level of significance we could reject at. All right, so uh, going in, we said, well, we're going to reject when the P is less than uh, 0 0.05. Here it's well below 0 0.05, so we can easily reject this null. All right, you can also use the, the confidence interval to just do the, the test. All right, since the interval does not include zero, all right, so uh, they're both positive, it indicates that there is a significant difference. Okay, so I hope that helps with paired sample in Minitab.